Hey guys, Jeremy here with Simple Little Life, and welcome to installment number 27 of Viewer's Knives. All these knives are made by you guys, the viewers of this channel. Really cool to see what you guys are up to. Let's get right into it. These first knives we'll look at are sent to me from Jason, and he is a 16-year-old knife maker from northern Germany. He makes knives for his friends just as a hobby while he's finishing up school. Uh, this first knife here he made as a carving knife for a friend who likes to go into the woods. And this other one here is a drop point style. He made it for his uncle who likes to go collect wild mushrooms in the woods. I think these knives are really, really cool. He used high carbon steel for both of them and an ebony wood for the scales with brass pins. Uh, currently, he's actually collecting some tools to get into forging blades, but right now he simply does a stock removal method. I think these knives look fantastic, Jason. Keep up the great work. Also, I'll put a link to his Instagram in the description below. And another gentleman named Jason has submitted this knife for us to enjoy. Uh, this is the very first time he's used Damascus or Micarta. That's the only information I have about this knife, or uh, Jason for that matter, but thank you for sharing it with us nonetheless. This looks fantastic. Next, we're gonna to go to Poland, and Janik is a 16-year-old knife maker, and this is the sixth knife that he's made. He says this is the first time he's actually had really successful freehand grinds, and he's making these all on his 1x30 belt grinder. I think these grinds look fantastic, the knife just looks wonderful, and to think about doing this with a 1x30, that is some very, very impressive work. He's also in the process of making some smaller EDC blades out of D2 steel, and he's also making a set of kitchen knives for his mom. Great looking blades here, Janik. Thank you for sending these in. Next, we're gonna go to Wisconsin, and Jordan is an 18-year-old knife maker. He's been making knives for about five years, and he made this one that was inspired off the tracker knife that we built on this channel. He used the old tool steel for the blade, and he also used some black and red diamond ply for the scales. Now, I've never heard of that stuff, but it sure does look cool. Also, he's got the different grinds here, so you see he's got the hollow grind near the handle and going to the flat grind near the tip. Very challenging to grind a knife like that, and I think you're doing really, really well here, Jordan. He also wants to share a few of his EDC knives and some smaller meat and cheese knives that he made. These are really great looking blades, and he's doing everything here on his homemade 2x72 belt grinder. Excellent work, Jordan. Thank you so much for sending this in. All right, we're gonna head from Wisconsin to Michigan, and Austin is a 19-year-old knife maker who's been making knives for about a year now. This first knife we're gonna look at is actually the second knife he's ever made. He made it with 1080 steel and it's 3 16 thick with a four inch cutting edge. He designed it as a general woodscraft knife and he used it extensively to that end in Northern Michigan in the forests up there. So that is really cool to hear that you're using your knives that you've made. And the second one here is this fifth knife that he's made and he actually made it for his fiance. This one is out of 01 tool steel, it's 3 16 thick and has a three inch cutting edge. And handles are oil stained birch burl. What great looking wood grains you've chosen there. These are just two wonderful knives. Very nicely done. Austin, thank you for sharing these with us. Connor sent in pictures of this knife that he's made, and uh, I do believe there were two emails, but I only have one on record, and that's this one here with the picture. So I don't have any information about this knife or Connor where he's from, but I guess we can look at this knife and say, good job. Keep up the great work. Next up, we have this knife from Jack, and he's a 15-year-old from Idaho. He said after watching this channel for about three months, he's finally inspired to get up and go make his own knife, and that is so cool to hear. The steel that he used for this is D2 tool steel, and he actually used a piece of oak from a tree that he cut down in his backyard. He said the whole knife build took him about five days. He's really pleased with it, and you know, just that feeling that you get when you make something with your hands, oh, it's so cool for you to experience that, Jack. This is a great looking blade. I hope this is the first of many knives that you make. Larry is a knife maker from Oklahoma. He's been making knives for quite a while and I really like the, the consistency of his work here. You can see uh, the theme kind of runs through them and you know, one thing that's interesting when you're looking at knife makers is that a lot of their blades, they've got a certain signature style to them and I find that true of Larry's work here. So this is absolutely fantastic work, Larry. I think these are great looking blades and thank you so much for sharing these. Bo is a 13 year old knife maker and this first knife here was inspired by the neck knife that I had made on this channel. I think you did a great job here Bo, this looks wonderful. And then this next one here was one that he just took two Stanley blades and epoxied it to a wooden handle. And I kind of, I like that approach to knife making even. You know what, you get started where you can with what you have. And uh, just fantastic, 13 years old. Bo, keep up the great work, it is so cool to see you making knives. Andreas is a 16 year old knife maker from Denmark and this is the very first knife that he's made. He said he's been inspired by this channel so Andreas thank you so much it's so cool to hear that. He made this one with D2 steel and red paca wood for the scales. He did this whole thing by hand, uh, filed the bevels by hand and everything, lots of sandpaper and lots of hard work. He says I hope you like it because I know I do and absolutely you should be proud of this Andreas. Great looking blade, keep up the excellent work. 
Matthias just wanted to share some of the most recent knives that he's been working on. He's from Switzerland and he notes here that it is the crap land for knife making. Uh, very difficult to get materials and supplies to make knives, but nonetheless, he's making some great looking blades here. Also, I'll put a link to his Instagram in the description below. Matthias, thank you for sharing these with us and keep up the great work. Next, we're going to take a look at a knife from a 15-year-old from the Netherlands. Now, he would rather remain anonymous, and that's totally cool, uh, but he did give us some good information about this knife. The steel that he used is 4mm thick 01 tool steel, and he profiled the whole thing with an angle grinder, and then he finished it all off, did all the bevels with file jigs, and that is really cool. He took it up to a 400 grit satin finish, and then he made this Kydex sheath for it as well. Excellent, excellent work. Thank you for sharing this with us, and keep on making knives. Next up is this knife from Ben, and he's a 14-year-old knife maker, and he says that this was his first proper knife. The steel he used is 01 tool steel. He used brass pins and coca bowl for the handle scales, and he made this whole thing with a 1x30 belt sander and a hacksaw. He used a piece of angle iron as a grinding jig to keep the bevels, and he says he's super, super happy with it. I would say absolutely, this knife turned out really, really nicely done. You've done a lot of extra work and a lot of attention to detail. This is a great looking blade, Ben. Thank you for sending it in to us. All right, Baba is a 40 year old knife maker and this is the very first knife that he's made. What he did is he converted a little space in his garden to have a workshop. Uh, he put a small coffee can forge for heat treating and a filing jig so he can put the bevels on and just went to town making this knife. He used 01 tool steel and mahogany for the, the scales and uh, made this little display box for it as well. He says that he's so pleased with how it turned out he's actually gonna give it to his dad for his birthday and that is so cool. This is a great looking blade. Thank you so much for your email, Baba. I really do appreciate it. Keep up the great work. Now these next two knives have a really cool story behind them. Ben is from Oklahoma and he found my channel through Alex Steele. Now six years ago Ben's father had passed away and his father was his friend and his mentor and he was also a blacksmith and a farrier. Ben grew up watching his dad work, working in the trades and building things with his hands and when his father had passed he just kind of stopped, he just left it all behind. And somehow he said when he saw the way that I build things on my channel it reminded him of his dad and it rekindled his desire to start making things again and it inspired him to actually start making again. And that's what these two knives represent. Ben goes on to say that I'm sure it sucks sometimes as a YouTuber and it does. I I'm sure a lot of you guys in the audience don't understand like literally how many hundreds of nasty comments and bad emails we get per week. But then it's the one message like this that, that what we're doing here is making a difference. So thank you, Ben, I really do appreciate it. It means the world to hear that this has helped you out. And on to these knives, these were both made from lawnmower blades. You know, they signify the fact that Ben just wanted to start making something again. And that to me is what I love to see in, in people building stuff. They're not waiting till they have the perfect this or the perfect that, but just to do something is the most important thing in my opinion. So Ben, thank you for your amazing email. Glad to see you making knives again and thank you so much. This next knife is the first knife that Adam has made, and he's a 38-year-old pawnbroker and hobby maker. He says he just loves working with his hands. It doesn't matter what it is, he just likes to create things. He's been wanting to make a knife for a while and finally came across a forge and an anvil, and this is the very first knife that he tried making. He also says here he plans on making many more, which is really good to hear. And also his son, Duke, is 11 years old, just as a huge fan of YouTube. He said he'd get a real kick out of seeing the knife up on YouTube. So here it is, Duke, and a shout out to you, buddy. Keep watching making videos with your dad. Trust me, they're good for you. Adam, thanks for sending this in. Great looking blade. Next up, we've got some file knives from Tom, and he's from Rhode Island. Now, I'm a huge fan of file knives. I really do like them, and to me, these are some of the most exquisite examples of file knives that I've seen. These are just done beautifully. For the wood, a lot of that stuff you'll use just from his wood burning pile, and he actually stabilizes it himself, dries it, stabilizes it, and then he also makes his own mosaic pins. These knives are just so incredible, absolutely wonderful, very nicely done, Tom. Also, Tom, when he first started making knives, he was using a 1x30 and very quickly realized he wanted to upgrade, so he made his own 2x72, and he's just like his knives, it looks like there's been a lot of attention to detail, very carefully put together, and this looks absolutely amazing. Tom, thank you so much for sharing your knives and the picture of your grinder. Jacob is a gentleman from Michigan just getting into knife making after watching channels like this one, Slavic Telly, Alex Steele, and Liam Hoffman, and he just wants to share pictures of the first two knives that he's made. He also sent me some great information on his homemade portable bandsaw stand that he had done. This was inspired by the one from Slavic Telly, and then also a picture of his shop, which is really, really fun to see. So Jacob, thank you for sharing this information. Really great stuff you're doing here. All right, we're going to wrap up this edition of Viewer's Knives by looking at a couple of blades sent to me from Chad. He's a 32-year-old knife maker from Washington State. And he's been making knives for about three years, and he started when he lost his old skinny knife. 
He's made 30 to 35 knives now, and he's starting to pick up the pace as his business is starting to grow. He makes his knives from old files, leaf springs, 01, 1080, and 1095 steels. These are some of the knives that he's made, and he really, really is enjoying this craft. Also, I'll put a link to his Instagram in the description below, Olympic Blades. Be sure to give him a check out right there. Well, thank you so much to everybody who sends your knives in to be featured on these viewer knife segments. It is a real honor to be able to share your work and see these inspiring knives that you guys are making and hear the stories behind them. If you'd like to have your knife featured on this channel, just email me, jeremy at homesteadknives.com, and we will get it shared. Be sure to leave your comments and encourage other makers in the description below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers.